Exploring Hampi is a unique way of experiencing the rich history of one of India's greatest empire of our time, the Vijayanagara Empire. If you had been following our previous videos of Hampi series, you would observe how vast, powerful and rich an empire it was that ruled almost over the entire of South Indian peninsula for four centuries in the medieval period. So, this is the tender of the tender that is found and you guys are doing it. Okay. And on that side, you are telling us that it is Ballari district. And on that side, it is Koppal. We started towards Bhima's gateway early in the morning just after sunrise. Bhima's gateway is a massive arched gateway named after Bhima, the legendary Pandav brother from Mahabharat. This structure is a classic example of Vijayanagara Empire's military architecture and strong defense system. It is impressive due to its zigzag path upon entering through the arch due to which it is not possible for a large group to head towards its other exit. Towards the left side on one wall, we found a sculpture of the Pandav brother Bhima carrying the mace in one hand and the Sogandhika flower for Draupadi in another. Another wall carving showing Draupadi tying her hair after Bhima killed Dushashan. These rocks placed over one another are so massive and made us wonder how these were brought and arranged neatly in a way that for hundreds of years they still stand intact. Here we can find there are guards quarters within the wall structure. After a zigzag walk we found the northern exit. We were the only ones out at this time of the day here, not a soul to be seen around. Outside the northern exit, we found few more smaller structures probably used for stationing the guards. We came back to our resort Mayura Bhuvaneshwari and after a quick breakfast started towards the Tunga Bhadra riverside.
towards the right is the Matanga Hill which is popular among tourists for climbing. The drive was mesmerizing in the midst of the boulder strewn land and the ancient ruins scattered all around. As we drove towards the ancient Virupaksha Bazaar, never-ending rows of stone pavilions told us what a buzzing marketplace it was during those days. We parked our vehicle and started on foot for the riverside. We headed towards the ruins of the ancient Hampi Bazaar which is close to the Virupaksha temple. The Hampi Bazaar was once the heart of flourishing trade. It was a well-planned market area. There are several series of pavilions set in an organized manner. It looked so quaint in the backdrop of the Boulder Mountains. We took a walk through inside the pillared pavilions. There are staircases to go to the next floor as many of the pavilions are two-storied. It is quite obvious that this was a well-planned shopping complex. Some of the pillars have carvings as if welcoming the visitors with a namaste. A small part of this ancient market is being used as a crafts bazaar to exhibit ancient relics and also as a photo gallery. At the far end of this market complex sits the statue of the huge monolithic bull or Nandi which has been here for 500 years and is popular among the visitors. Monolithic bull is a bull. We then found a narrow shortcut path through the bushes which would take us towards the riverside road. The riverside road has immensely breathtaking views with huge boulders of different sizes and shapes with the mighty Tungabhadra river flowing in between. Previous evening we had to postpone our coracle ride due to the huge rush. So today morning we are again headed towards the banks of the Tungabhadra river to experience the ride. As we walked through the rocks we entered a cave with huge boulders. A path through this cave took us towards the river bank. The walk through the cave was undoubtedly thrilling. Because uh, last time I was working there, huh? before the like I know I'll go, sir, because uh, I'm like a guide, same. <laughs> there is also a historical place. I got a fort. Fort Goa. The river flanked by red boulders looked calm and surreal. A few coracles could be seen at a distance. Korakal ride at Hampi across the Tunga Bhadra River is a very unique experience.
many people were offering their prayers and performing some rituals at the riverside. These bamboo coracles are quite big and can accommodate up to 6 to 8 people at a time. These were traditionally used to ferry people from one place to another across the river even during the time of the Vijayanagara Empire. We waited while our coracle was being readied. Sanitized life jackets were given to anyone riding the coracle. Many wonder how safe it is to ride sitting on a round cane boat and crossing a deep river. It can be a little scary for someone like me with basic swimming skills. As we glided through the waters, I noticed big holes in the boulders formed over ages due to the water current. One such boulder as indicated by our boatman looked like the shape of an elephant. These are the results of erosion when during rainy season the levels of water in the Tungabhadra river rises. The best part of the trip is going beneath a huge boulder. We noticed a huge rock with a small gap beneath it. Our coracle went beneath the boulder. Sitting below the boulder with the cool breeze of the flowing river was a surreal experience. At the other side, some ancient structures could be seen. ये ये कोराकेल का जो टेंडर है किसी को मिला है और उसके अंदर ही आप लोग कर रहे हैं अच्छा और वो साइड में आप बता रहे कि बल्लारी डिस्ट्रिक्ट है और ये साइड में कोपल इफ यू आर विजिटिंग हाम्पी अ कोराकेल राइड इन द तुंगा भद्रा रिवर इज अ मस्ट आई फील कोराकेल्स आर अवेलेबल बिटवीन 6 एम एंड 6 पी एम एवरी डे ऑफ द वीक the best time to take a ride is either early in the morning or during the later part of the day before dusk. <laughs> 